What's going on guys, Auto Lovers here. Just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I'm sitting here washing my quad after this setup that I'm about to show you. And I figured some people might be interested in doing something similar and have questions if it would even work. So I figured I'll come in here and show you guys what I did. So hopefully I answer some of the questions you guys have. Um, so anyway, this isn't the video. This is the video right here. Uh, this is what I'm gonna show you guys. Now, this is a Harbor Freight 10 by 17 uh, car, portable car garage, I think they call it. Uh, well, well worth the purchase. Pain in the butt to put together by yourself. So if you're gonna do it, get a friend for the for the day. It took me about six hours by myself. It wasn't terrible, um, but it, it does suck. One more person would be better, but you know it can be done by yourself. Uh, so real quick, Harbor Freight tent uh, can easily fit. I parked the quad back here uh, long wise against the back there and then uh, I do park the Honda in here as well but anyway this is the setup so what I'm gonna post the title of this video which you've already seen is gonna be this uh, pressure washer from Harbor Freight this is the 2000 PSI version so it's a little bit cheaper uh, I think it's like 150 bucks something like that you don't really need more than that if you're going to be just doing like regular detailing stuff in my opinion if you go too high in the psi you can actually start risking damaging the paint and things so this is my suggestion now i know most of you are probably already looking at some stuff saying what in the world what i did it comes on this tug along here if you will it's got two wheels pressure washer mounts here um it's got the onboard soap tank yada yada obviously i've fully gutted this thing and I did mount it to a piece of plywood and it is facing the wrong direction. So this is supposed to be laying you know, flat on here. Um, what I did is I took it off and I'm laying it, you know, mounted on its belly, if you will. Uh, works perfectly fine. It's a wash pump, it's a pressure pump. So it really doesn't matter what direction. Uh, that's kind of what I based my theory off of. Um, and I just went with it. And so far it has been phenomenal. I actually just washed this, so um, it's been great. What I really wanted to show you guys as far as ideas go, if you guys plan on doing something like this, is um, all the accessories, in my case, mounted right to this piece of plywood. So this, you can see the little here, this is all supposed to mount uh, on, on this. You know, this over there, this over there. So to hold the gun, this is the original mount, holds the gun perfectly fine. Pops right out. Again, I am doing this one-handed, but pops right back in. And then up here, obviously, you can see these come right out. It is like a rubber grommet. These come out, goes right back in. Uh, that holds that perfect. You can easily access the, the power switch here. Um, the biggest modification, which I'm sure you guys have seen already, uh, is this. So now this does come with an onboard like soap tank. Um, very small. This thing does like to suck up soap when you're using it. I just had the idea of what if I want multiple soaps? What if I want my my rinse? What if I want a spotless rinse? What if I want uh, my wax separate? What if I want my soap separate? Things like that. So this idea pretty much came about. Again, this was all just in theory, um, and the theory has worked. So this is where the original soap dispenser, you know, that was set up here on this. It actually sits right up front, right here. And you guys, I'm sure you've already looked at the pictures if you're looking into this product, but you know what it looks like. Um, got rid of that that's actually in the garage i'm just going to use that for something separate um this is just a bunch of regular uh three eighths this is all three eighths stuff so three eighths od uh tubing three eighths uh, fittings all that kind of stuff i have a disconnect or i'm sorry a shut off here the reason why i did this this one really isn't necessary but the reason why i did this one uh is i was still getting some vacuum through here when i was using the gun so all the stuff in this line, because it's a fairly long line, which I'll show you here in a second, I uh, was still pulling up through, then you'd get like sputter soap coming out. So you'd be sitting here spraying, just trying to spray regular water to rinse the thing off, and then soap would start spritzing out again, then you have to rinse that soap off. Just kind of became a pain in the butt. So my brilliant idea was to add this one, um, so that way I only have this much soap to deal with, and it's a much less, uh, much less of a headache. Much less of a headache. So... Added that one in just as a secondary. <laughs> this reel is my biggest downfall of this whole project slash this um, pressure washer. This reel isn't actually a reel. It's just a storage reel. You can't, you can't unravel the hose like you would think you would be able to do. Um, you actually have to fully 
unravel the hose disconnected from the gun, fully unravel it around, and then have all your extra slack just sitting here. And then when you want to redo it, you have to unhook it again, and then it it's a pain in the butt. It really, it's not what you think. It's not like uh, my air hose reel. So you're thinking of something like this, where you can just grab it, pull it, and keep go, you know, keep walking out, and it and it just follows you. No, that's not how that one works. Um, you would have to, like I said, disconnect it. Here, let me show you. You would have to disconnect either here or on the gun, or actually both, um, and and you know wind it back up. The thing is, it it doesn't. It, 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 there's no way to separate this, so it just gets tight on itself because of this. Therefore, you can't keep reeling. I know it's probably confusing to understand, but trust me, this doesn't work as a reel as you would think it would. Um, so going back to this, because this is the most interesting part, especially for me. I mean, this is I'm very proud of this. This was an idea that worked out beautifully. So this comes down here. Again, this is all just prototype right now. I mean, I'm not I'm not done. I still got tools and stuff laying around, but um. Essentially, it's pretty self-explanatory. Another 90 comes down here. I do have a brass fitting, that's all I could find. It goes into a T, and then this comes down here. And then for instance, I have this one in here right now, just as a trial. This is how much soap I've used on like one wash. I would say just washing this quad, I've probably used like this much soap, which is crazy, because this is a, what is this, a three quart jug. So it's, it's fairly big. And it, it does, you can literally just sit here and watch the soap just coming down. Um, so what I've learned to do too is just, you know, crack this a bit and that will actually manage how much soap is uh, forced out so you can save on some. You don't really need as much as it's sucking out. And then same concept comes over here. I do have this capped off right now um, because if I wanted to, like I said, if I wanted to add more soaps, I can easily just extend this shelf here um, that way and then have more tees and I can add as many as I would like. The idea behind it, open the main valve up top there, open up which one you want. So for instance, if this is just my regular car wash soap, this is what I want to start with, just crack this one open, leave this one closed. Now all you're doing is drawing from this one. Um, the vacuum is shut off here, obviously, and then it will only draw from this. You can see the line right now is yellow. Uh, that's because I've been using this one a little bit. I tried adding some water to dilute this one, and it just totally failed and now it's just sitting on top here um, but whatever this one works great this one is more liquidy uh, this one is much thicker you can't really tell because of the water I added but trust me this one is much thicker um, so it does have a little bit of a problem sucking it through which I've actually found it not to be terrible because you know that being thicker it does pull slower which therefore distributes less soap coming out than what you probably what actually, it's the perfect amount is what I'm trying to say. This is a little too thin, so therefore it just sucks through this line like no one's business. Um, this one's a little bit thicker, so therefore it, it takes a lot longer um, for it to start sucking through and then it distributes uh, less soap out of the nozzle, uh, which again, to me, actually seems to work out much better. But again, just to manage it, all you gotta do is crack it. Now I have actually left both of these open and it does draw from both, which is pretty cool. I don't know why you'd want to do something like that. Maybe you had two of the same ones um, and you wanted them to just evenly distribute. That That's a possibility too with this setup. Um, but typically, like I said, right now I'm running two different soaps, so I just leave one off, leave the one I want on, make sure this one is set to on like this, and that's it. This is open, that's open. Now it'll pull the green soap out. I'll see if I can set up a demonstration here for you. Hold on. All right, so I am going to waste some water and soap here. Don't don't hate me and this pump is fairly loud because it is electric um, so if you've had an electric pressure washer before you know that whiny noise that it makes but it's it's not too bad in person the video I'm sure it'll be much louder than what it seems to be in real life but either way so I got the green soap on right now I do have the green tip in does again for for the purpose of this doesn't really matter I'm probably gonna switch over to the soap one that's what it's meant to do but I'm gonna try it with the green one first just to show you got the upper valve on uh, green soap valve is on. You can see all that inside the line there um, is yellow because the last soap I used. You can see the difference there. Um, so I'm going to try to just push this here and then hopefully you can see the green soap come out. <laughs> it's not going to have much with that tip in there. Let me switch the tip out to soap tip. Alright, I switched it out to the black tip, which is the soap tip here. As you 
can see there. Now you should be able to see, I'll try to hold it here. You can watch, watch that yellow line going up into the machine. You ready? You see how it's slowly starting to turn green? Look here. Got soap. Now you can really probably see it. If I put this here and hold it steady, you can watch the uh, the amount drop. So you can see how fast it's going at full full open. Everything is full open right now. you can see that or not but there you go got a nice soap it's foamy it's not crazy foamy it's not a foam cannon by any means uh, but it is plenty of soap and now you can see all in the lines it's still like a yellow tint to it but essentially it's it's green you can see the difference now between these two um, but that's it I just wanted to show you this pretty self-explanatory um, Harbor Freight pressure washer mounted, I guess, vertically, opposed to horizontally, um, if you want to look at it that way. Um, and then just my own idea here as far as soap goes. Again, it can be extended out as far as you possibly want. I don't know how many options you would really need, but you it's endless. Uh, rest of my setup here for whoever is interested. This is an Amazon Stanley uh, wet-dry garage wall-mounted, obviously. Um, vacuum this thing has been phenomenal it's only four horsepower peak um, which some people say isn't enough I think it's absolutely plenty I've used it in the vehicles and it I don't see a difference between a car wash vacuum and this vacuum just being honest I haven't used it wet yet um, I don't really have a need for that unless I'm doing upholstery but so far so good it does come with I believe a 20 foot hose which is awesome um, when the vacuum is on it actually tends to suck itself back together which is great because it puts it puts a little bit of tension on this so you're not just sitting here having a, a vacuum hose just flapping around and hitting the ground and everything else so that's pretty neat um, comes with suction control here which is cool um, so that way it doesn't get stuck to the carpet you know uh, you can open and close this a little bit to help with that and then i did go on amazon as well and bought like a this is in particular, this is an inch and a quarter, I believe. Um, a bunch of accessories, you know, your regular thin nozzles. This is good for like cup holders and on the shifter knob. Um, that's pretty cool. And then it's got two long wand extensions. I don't really need that for my case. It did come with like a regular vacuum head. Don't really need that for my case, but whatever. Um, and it did actually come with this black pouch. Not really meant to be hung the way I hung it as far as those four wood screws go. It does have this little thing up here that I guess you can just hang like a, on a coat hanger or something. But in my case, I thought this would be better, more sturdy if I just tied it all down. And then I do have a Ryobi um, battery operated. Don't mind this. This is a camera I'm going to set up for security purposes. But I do have a Ryobi battery pack. All my tools are Ryobi, so um, I have like a 50,000 of those batteries. And this is cool, it's instant on-demand air. So again, those hard to reach places or cup holders or um, if you're over by the shifter, you know how delicate that, that leather and stuff could be. You don't really wanna poke that with a vacuum. Um, I just set this up. Get a little Harbor Freight nozzle here. And then just instant air. If I need it. Uh, up to 120 PSI. And then again, once, you know, if the battery dies i'd throw a new battery in there and i'm good to go for another day or two so it works out pretty good this is this isn't for commercial use this is for my own personal collection i got going minus my wife's car currently and whoever friends want to come over and use it um that's pretty much what the purpose of this is for <clears throat> and so far it's been great those are the harbor freight led lights um very very bright at nighttime two of them are way plenty for this especially with the white walls in here at nighttime this place literally glows um, but this is it so far. Just wanted to, you know, whoever would be interested in something like this, it is possible. Here's a quick rundown, dirty idea for you if you wanted to do something like this. And uh, all together, this vacuum, if I remember correctly, I actually bought it. Um, Amazon had like the open box damaged thing, like new condition, whatever. 
Um, mine was like new, and then it just said packaging may come damaged. It, it came perfectly fine. I took the risk. I figured if it was too bad, I can just return it. Took the risk, bought it, um, came perfectly fine. Packaging was fine. All the accessories were there. The vacuum works perfectly fine. Um, so that was a win. So normally about 125 bucks, I believe, for the vacuum, and I got it for 75 uh, on that like new condition thing. So that was a steal. Um, again, this, I am a Harbor Freight um, inside member or whatever they call it. Um, so I got this on sale. I forget how much they are normally. I want to say 150 I think I got mine for 125 Either that or they're 125 new, and I got mine for 100 or something like that. Um, so again, not too bad there. It's pretty cool because all the accessories and stuff that I took off of this, I found a way to use all of that so I, I could mount everything. This reel, again, is the biggest uh, disappointment of it. I am going to replace that reel with a hose reel like I showed you inside for the air compressor that I have in the garage. Sorry, that was truck noise. I didn't want to talk over it. Um, I am going to try to find some sort of quarter inch or three eighths hose reel and mount it um, sideways on here. So that way I can just have, you know, a hose that I can just pull out 25 feet or whatever and pull back in. That will take some modification. I'll make a second video on that if anyone's interested. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show this plumbing idea for soap and stuff if you're trying to make a, a home detailing station. Thought this was a pretty nifty idea. Just figured I'd share it. All right guys, all the lovers signing off. Have a good one.